Hello, uh, welcome to the Chicago Tool Library. Uh, we decided a while back that we were going to celebrate our 500th member by having a birthday party. Uh, well, actually, it's kind of been this evolving thing that started as a 500 member, then went to the birthday party, and now it's kind of turning into a 12 days of Christmas thing at this point. Um, but we bought a bunch of new tools for our members, and we wanted to unbox them and show them off to you guys. So I've got a bunch of random boxes here of stuff we bought. Uh, I know some of them don't, don't know others, so we're just going to kind of open them up and go through them. I feel, I feel like I'm going to keep saying we'll just get it in post and they're going to be like, you can't edit this out. <laughs> ah, so, we have got four more of these awesome corner coins. So, these guys are great. They are uh, specifically for like woodworking. I guess you could use them for metalworking too, but they, uh, they let you hold um, items at a you know perfect right angle. So like especially if you're doing like picture frames or any sort of wood for, wood joint where you want a nice tight 90 degree angle, uh, these corner clamps are great. So they uh, we always have these out. Uh, I made the joke a while back that we should be called the Chicago Clamp Library because that's our number one lint item is random types of clamps. All right. Uh, let's see, next on the list in this bag, we have our, oh, we have our hole saw set. So we have this nice uh, Milwaukee hole saw set. Um, we discovered that hole saws are surprisingly expensive. Uh, these usually are like 100, 150 bucks. Uh, and we saw it on sale, and we know a lot of members have been asking for it, so we have a nice set of hole saws. Uh, the hole saws here, it'll do all sorts of materials. It'll do wood, metal, steel. Uh, Metal is steel, but um, and it's got a bunch of sizes, so we have everything from three quarters all the way up to four and a half. Um, so this is really great. Uh, a lot of members have been asking for this, and it's nice to have not only good hole saws, but just a set that we can give people, like you know, pick your size and it's ready to go. Why did I forget the dog's name already? I'm the worst with names. Marty. Marty, Marty McFly. Marty McFly. Yeah, if you hear noise in the background, that's our shop dog, Marty. Oh, it's Dremel. Oh, nice. So we uh, saw a deal on Dremel. We had a lot of requests for this, so we got ourselves a uh, Stylo Plus craft tool. I've never actually seen this. It looks like it's a... Oh, so it's like, a, um, like an engraver. Like you can shape and engrave and carve in it. Uh, I think we're going to use it in the library for sort of maybe engraving uh, the uh, serial numbers or item numbers on things. But it'll be great for like shaping wood, shaping metal, um, and it lets you do some very like fine engraving and carving. This picture here has got a guy or a person uh, doing leather, you can do wood, oh, you can do glass on it. Oh, that's kind of cool. Yeah, so you have like a Dremel engraving tool. And then, uh, we got another Dremel 3000. So this is the full kit with the Dremel tool. Uh, I think we already have one of these, and this has been pretty popular. So uh, this is a nicer one. Oh, about the same, but uh, a tool and a bunch of different attachments and bits here, which I know members will love. Oh yeah, so we have an angle finder and a drill block. Uh, so this angle finder is really nice. Uh, it is a sort of a set angle reference. So you can basically, you know, if you're trying to get a specific angle, you can go up to your piece, set it, lock it, and then go back to the saw and set your saw up at that exact angle. Um, or you can just actually know the number. So it's got measurements here. So if you want to know the exact angle, it's like goes up from like 150 to, or 180 to you know, zero. So yeah, we've got an angle finder. I love these types of tools. These are the types of tools that I think are the best for the tool library. They're, you know, you only use them a couple times a year maybe if you're not doing this all the time and uh, they're not worth, you know, the effort to maybe buy them, but it's great to have it when you need it. Uh, so we have a lot of these nice little like jigs and tools and things that just make your life a little bit easier. Um, another thing we have here is a drill block. Uh, oh, this is cool. So it is a block that lets you keep all of your drill your drill holes perpendicular and straight right so it's got like a v-shaped thing here and you can rest this on a surface you can rest it flat and that'll guide your drill bit or you can rest it on like a with the v-shape you can like rest it on like a pipe it's right there i mean they show a pipe yeah so you can sort of rest it so if you wanted to get a perfectly flat or perpendicular drill you can do that with this little block this is a lot of stuff i know Oh, awesome. So our next thing uh, is a uh, table saw safety bundle. Um, so 
This is another thing, safety tools like this, again, they're like really good, nice to have, and you know, you might not have it, and it's great when you need it. Um, we've got three things here. Uh, we've got a push stick, and a feather board, and a grabber. So the push stick is literally just when you're on a table saw and you're trying to guide something through and you've got your saw here, it just keeps your hands out of the, out of the clearance, right? So you push on the piece of wood, you can hold it, that way if something slips, your hand's just farther away and it lets you securely hold something and push it through a tabletop, right? So. Grabber, so this is basically the same thing as the push stick, just a wider surface. Um, so you might use this for the table saw or you know, usually you might use it on, use it on like a planer um, or something, or sorry, a jointer maybe where you need to hold it. Uh, you could also use it on a router table where you need to hold a flat piece of wood. And it lets you hold, have a good secure grip on it, but keep your hands clear of the spinning blades that can do some damage. Uh, and then the last piece here is uh, a feather board. So a feather board is a great tool for table saws. What it lets you do is you mount this to the table saw and hold it flat, and these feathers uh, hold the piece against your fence. So if your, your fence is here, your blade is right here, it holds it and applies pressure to the fence to keep it you know, straight and keep it there. And it's got this design where it'll let them go this way really easily, but it won't kick it back. And then the last piece we got here is, uh, oh, a drill mate. This has been one we've had people request and one that I think is super useful. Um, it is basically a guide for any type of standard hand drill or power drill that lets you do straight and perpendicular drills into uh, any surface where you can mount it. So it's, you know, very similar to a drill press, but the nice advantage is that you can like, you know, the picture here has, you can mount it to a door and you can drill a hole for a door handle and it's straight and perpendicular every time. It looks expensive. All right, this last guy is uh, our new small inverter generator. And it's a box within a box. Nice. Uh, but it is a sportsman inverter generator. Um, I, we've been looking these up. We found out that they're actually well reviewed. Um, it seems like they're decent quality. This one was surprisingly cheap considering. Um, and it is a uh, 800 watt, 1000 watt continuous inverter generator. Um, one of the advantages of these generators is it's quieter. Uh, because it has the inverter, the motor doesn't have to run at a constant speed. So if you're doing a, a low draw, it can run quieter and slower and it doesn't need to run flat out at 3600 RPM all the time, which makes it much quieter and much more fuel efficient. Um, also, since this is an inverter generator, it can do sensitive electronics. Uh, Non-inverter generators, those bigger guys, they a lot of times can't handle things like laptops and phone chargers, uh, even tool chargers for your batteries, they sometimes can't handle. So yeah, this is going to be really cool to test out and try, but this is really nice. So I'm hoping a lot of people get good use out of that. Um, that's all we have so far for our big buy that we did for all the tools. So yeah, we will keep posting all the new tools we get and showing them off. And uh, hope you guys enjoy.